Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is a video about DK. You wouldn't say it, of course, if you look at it like this. But if you ask for a terminal and we have NeoFetch on, then you see there are two letters, which is a bit strange. So why two letters? Basically, it's a project of Nate. I think it was um, Git Bucket, Nate, Maya, DK. Gonna give you the source right so it's a tiling window manager built by nate and all the information all the things you need to know are here and that's it you can't find anything on the arch wiki dk there's nothing there right it's just this page and of course the help or the the questions you can ask him via git bucket or bit bucket better and um, this should be your guide and of course the videos that we make and of course our own coding is gonna help you decide whether you want to use this or not or do you like it or not right as usual all the tiling um, the key bindings are the same so when I do super T this will happen when I do Control alt enter this will happen and a super Q and a super Q and a super shift Q uh, what else? Shift, super shift enter is there. Super Q again. Super D is there for your applications. And I say I want to have Firefox. You start typing and you launch it. Super Q again. Super shift D is there. So the D menu is there. Same thing. Maybe the caca fire. So maybe you haven't seen that already. That's the caca fire, right? Super Q and so on and so on. So all the key bindings that you're used to, that is that are in awesome, and BSP, WM, and Xmonad, and Herbsluft, and, and so on, Qtile, all the same key bindings, so nothing to remember or learn. And here we have the other screen, so 10 workspaces that we have in this particular thing, Firefox, Discord, Telegram, and Minstick. You have the con keys to help you a little bit in if you the first time on the tiling window manager it's always tricky right it uh, has been a love hate experience for me as well 10 years ago with i3 so black screen nothing there no config there so we help you with all kinds of key bindings already there so Control shift escape will provide you is the sexy hotkey demon running is what i've been doing last hours and looking and changing the key bindings so super Q, it's gone again. So all of this, all the information is here available. Now, this is just a video to, to show, uh, to show the, the DK and how it's looked. This is gonna be on Arch Linux logout. And this is gonna be our menu. And the change background is something that we have, um, well, added. And here is the DK folder. So if you're gonna look at a tiling window manager, drag this little guy over here then drag that little guy over there and immediately you're inside the folder that you need to read read everything in the folder right so super shift d sublime text install that one and drag tk in there and then you can close this one and then you start reading so we have a png the code Here's the original code from the developer, from Nate himself, right? This is our code, so this is different, but you can check out why is he doing things and why are we doing things. Uh, all we know is this works and um, some of them, some of the things uh, will work and others won't. And well, you have to, in Tiling Window Manager, always investigate what should I do on my machine with my hardware because I have an HDMI one or a DP2 and so on and so on, right? You really have to go over everything. So what we do when launching DKRC, so that's the the, the well the, the file that's gonna run our tiling window manager, first go to auto start. So follow the computer, the reasoning of the computer is gonna go for this, it's gonna launch the polybar which is up here. And it's gonna launch a sexy hotkey demon as we <laughs> call it from time to time. So the simple X or hotkey demon and some backgrounds that we set and so on. All right. So this is where you need to go. Go for a QWERTY, Azerty, original QWERTY scripts are here. Polybar is here with the configuration and the launching. I took a look at the configuration. That's interesting to know. Polybar has been changing, well, always, right? 
basically. <laughs> but there are many, many changes that I saw that um, uh, the, the, the changes at this point in time, November, right? And the polybar that we have is outdated, right? We need to change some things. Some things are deprecated, as I say in English, or depreciated. It works, but uh, the intention is that we should move to something else, to something other naming convention, but everything works, so no problem. But this one, this file, is not called config, but config ini, for example, and all the things that were content, I believe, should be format rather than content. So stuff like that, but basically everything still works on our polybar. Here's the launcher in there, another launcher on there, and here are the backgrounds. So I was talking about the backgrounds, this nice fishy thing, right? So if you click on the CB, basically it's gonna grab something that's in the wallpaper. And the fun stuff is if you click again, then you see why I call it the fun stuff. The coloring has changed because of the wallpaper that's behind it. So each time you have another wallpaper, you're going to change the NeoFetch look, right? So there are little things like that that we've incorporated as well to have a fun system. So fun DK system. Watch out, Eric. Super Q without saving is better. So if you install Discord and if you install Telegram, these things will work. Minstick is already installed and Firefox is already installed. So it's still up to you to figure out what you want to get rid of or what you want to install. You know the drill. You go to github.com slash editor slash Aragonix Nemesis. That's where I keep my scripts, where I say, remove this, remove that, remove this, install this, install that. And then you have a system that you, you personally are proud of. And I say, okay, this is what I want in my system. I see here the Conkey, one last shortcut, Super C. Gone, right? And of course, you can edit the file itself and go delete the line there in the auto start, delete the line of Conky, and it won't start again. That's it for me, an intro of DK. And you know now where to go if it, things become too difficult for me. I say, look, go ask Nate <laughs> because it's his development, of course, it's his desktop, and he'll know much better. All right, cheers.